Welcome back, you big dickers. We're playing The Witcher 2. And we are trying to sneak the fuck out of here. Out of prison. I was wrongfully... Wrongfully uh, arrested here. Alright, I... I just turned down the, uh, the sensitivity of the mouse. Uh, it's still kind of... I mean, I don't mind it, but... It, I don't mind it being too uh, too fast, but um, I feel like it, it makes it a little bit difficult, or it's not easy on the eyes when when like actually watching it. Can I fucking knock this guy out? Hit him! Shit. Shit, shit, shit. God damn, I'm trying to get away, bitch. What the fuck is that? come from I'm so fucking so fucking irritated this time I'm going in with the fucking thing drawn good night how the fuck did hard Dude, this. Boy, you're gonna get it. Yeah? How about I open your fucking head up? Nice. You fucking bitch. All right, let me make sure there's not an asshole behind me. Okay. Now, I know I'm fucking up by not not being more sneaky, but I, I'm not sure what the fuck I was supposed to do in that situation. I know it said stun. I see... There's a red, a red thing up there. Let's take a look here. What am I peeking? Hear that noise? Someone getting tortured? What fucked maybe? Okay. It's locked. Do one of these assholes have a fucking key on them? I don't need bindings. Triss isn't around. I ain't gonna tie her up. What is that? Oh, the fire. Where? They left me my medallion, which kind of surprises me. I'm a little confused here. Oh, go! Uh, I didn't even look at the fucking objective. Go back to ass face McFucknuts. Alright, let's go see what he's got to say. See, there's like that red circle on the map. Help me up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm helping you. Shut up.
This the right way? Up the stairs. This way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't fucking tell me what to do. I'm a strong, independent man. I don't need no help. <laughs> Second door on the left. That's the oil store. It sounds like someone is shitting themselves. This was not open last time. How do you know about that? Come with me. There's nothing you can do here. I've more to do now than ever before. Alone. I need no one's aid for what I aim to accomplish. Is that your final word? Farewell, Witcher. Well, I never got my... I never got my, uh, my gear back. I wonder if I fucked that up. Halt! Oh, blimey, is that you, Witcher? They say you killed the king. Well, I didn't. And I'm going to prove it. I'm inclined to believe you. Glad to hear that. It'd be pretty stupid if I had to kill you now. <laughs> Did all the Reavers survive the assault? Aye. They've been drinking themselves silly for two days now. I believe I owe you something. You don't owe me a thing. We wound up in a boiling cauldron during the assault. You know how it is when knights get caught in a tight passage. Nowhere to go. Those in the back push forward. Those in the front are stuck. And halberd blows raining down from above. I'd have been crushed if not for my armor. And about ten blows landed on my helmet. My ears still ring and I puke time and again. Concussion? But I live and breathe. Concussion. It'll pass. Yep. Were you on patrol with the Reavers when they ran into those Squiatel? Aye. Kenneth mentioned the unit was especially vicious. Notice anything out of the ordinary? A unit emblem or something? Write you up. They had masks made of the cloth of Special Forces uniforms. And they hollered a lot. Yorva or some such. Hmm. Where did the dragon come from? I've no idea. But it saved our asses. The elves ceased shooting at the sight of it. Can't tell you anymore, as we fled right then as if the devil himself was on our tail. Take this. Kenneth told me to study up, but I've not the mind for it. Just not cut out to be a dragon hunter, I guess. It could be useful to you, though. I need to go. There are sentries on the dike. No way you'll <laughs> slip through. Can you distract them? Um, I'll try. But remember, count me out if there's a fight. In fact, we could end up foes. I hope not. Go. Just give me a minute. See, that's one thing I, I really like about the Witcher series, is, like, your decisions usually matter. Um... The Kingslayer's escaped! We need to cut him off! Follow me! Alright! Let's go! They're going... Nice. See, like, if I wouldn't have, if I would have let that, like, if I told him Geralt, over here. that that amulet would have protected him, he would have died. And I probably would have had to fight those two motherfuckers. Um, you know, I mean, it, it probably seems kind of small and tiny. And, like, for this instance, it Bloody is. Hell, you didn't have to torch the castle. I didn't do you it. You would sneak out, avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. People say what they think they have to. I know, but... They'll change their minds as soon as we find the Kingslayer. Roach will see to that. Right, spy? I'm no spy. But you're mostly correct. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel ruled Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. 
politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago, I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. <laughs> I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off. Clear the lines and all aboard. Lines clear, Captain. Ah, uh, but anyways. Witcher 3, I think I remember it being a lot more like the con the consequences of your actions were like way more significant um but i mean that's the case in like the game all the games have been that that way there's a curious thing honor made arian fight a mismatched battle against the might of temeria facing defeat honor told arian to bow his neck to save his name but that same honor prevented him from saving himself Even, um... Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child. Siri. And his toxic relationship with the sorceress named Jennifer. Stories of a life stolen from him am i boring you don't no. set this tale aside give me just a few minutes more for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold i fucking love this game even that thornbreaker game which is like a gwent-esque game uh, it was really fucking good too. Follows Queen May, uh, was it Maeve? Maeve. But even that had like your decisions. Everything had a consequence. Smell this shit. <laughs> the game. Like some of the choppy stuff. It's the, like it's definitely how the game is running. I have a 2070, so I don't think it's equipment. I think it's just the game. Sheathe your sword, elf. I'm here to talk.
You didn't listen. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Edirne, by the grace of the gods, sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crown. Go on. Fault has to start with. I barely escaped in Edirne. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails. And the support of the Scoyatel. Look at his fucking arms. I want no gold and have no interest in a killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his necker. Time to go. Do we have a deal, Elf? God, those arms are huge. Spoiler, he is in fact a witcher. If the eyes weren't enough to, and like all the, if all the, like the, the little bit of talk in the beginning about how it's possibly a witcher, it is a witcher. I won't say anything else, because we're going to find out together. But in case you were wondering, yes, he is in fact a witcher. Man, that would suck ass cheese. Flotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. That time of the month. Excuse me? But let's end the episode here. Because uh, we're, we're finally getting, getting into the good shit now. And, uh... Fuck yeah. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. Uh, thanks for coming back as always, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one.